Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar back with another vid. Yet another vid. I've been dropping like two vids a day for like the past four or five days, man. How y'all feel about that, man? Make sure before I get into this video, you guys hit that thumbs up. Say your dollars. We love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel that you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you love what I'm doing and tell me you love what I'm doing. And make sure you guys go into the description. I have a little giveaway video in there. Make sure you follow that video and take advantage of the giveaway. The winners will be uh, announced December 12th. As long as everything goes according to what the giveaway is telling you. If it doesn't go according to what the giveaway is saying, I get to keep my money in my pocket. And I just I might just quit YouTube because I got 10,000 damn subscribers. And it don't look like it. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I'm going into this story, man. I was on Soul Collector, man. Shout out to Soul Collector. It's one of the um websites I go to for information, reading and stuff. I love reading. That's one thing about me on my spare time. I read a lot, get a lot. Of... That's how you gain knowledge, man, reading, man. Like I told y'all in one of my videos in the past, man, education is the best hustle in the world, man. You can educate yourself on your spare time, and you get education from school. Reports say Nike is holding $8.3 billion offshore to avoid taxes. Taxes. April. Now, mind you, in the U.S., they drop their sneakers. We pay taxes on shoes that are being released by Nike that they're not even paying taxes for to the U.S. because they have offshore accounts. And I always talked about Nike with offshore accounts. This was prior to me even knowing that they had offshore accounts. It says... I'm going to leave the link in the description to this article so you guys can go check it out. Like I said, I'm also going to leave the link in the description to the giveaway video, man. Big shout out to Sneakatopia and my man Rishi Rich, man. We got a giveaway going on. You know, it's me thanking them for getting me to 10K. So now I want to get them to 10K. Now I want to further to my social media and get my IG to 10K, get my Twitter to 10K because... um. This is off the subject of this, but, you know, champs and everybody give off free stuff. And if I was getting that free stuff, I would be giving it to my viewers. You guys watch my channel. You support me. It's free gifts for me. Free gifts for y'all. Probably won't be every sneak I get, but I will be, you know, you guys support me. Get Got me to that point. So I'm going to give back. That's how I am. I'm a give back type of person. But anyway, a new report from Citizens. For tax justice alleges that Nike managed to dodge around $2.7 billion in U.S. taxes last year by holding $8.3 billion in offshore accounts. The lengthy, lengthy report, lengthy report, whatever the fuck that shit says, available here calls out Fortune 500 companies like Apple, American Express, and Nike for using tax havens to get around a 35% tax rate here in U.S. Its funding implied that Nike instead pays a mere 2.5% taxes to foreign government on its $8.3 billion, uh, $8 billion held overseas. Now, mind you, I heard this is just for the first quarter report. That's what I'm hearing. According to Citizens for Tax Justice, Nike is able to do this by licensing its product, licensing its product Products via shell companies in Bermuda. A 2013 report found 12 such companies, 10 of which were named all Nike sneaker lines and individual sneakers. Names of these shell companies include Air Max Limited, Nike Cortez, Nike Flight, Nike Force, and Nike Karachi. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this article. Like I said, I will be leaving the link in the description. I mean, if they're getting tax free money on offshore accounts, ain't no, ain't no telling what else they. I'm not going to get too much into it because I don't want to get flagged, but ain't no telling what else kind of grimy shit is going on with the Nike Corporation if there's something going on. I'm not accusing Nike of nothing, but it's just a lot of stuff that's going on with the counterfeit. And I'm just trying to figure out how a multi billion dollar company continues to allow this to happen and at the same time i'm still also trying to kill the resale game it's just it's big man i keep trying to tell you guys that's always arguing about sneakers and doing this and what's this and this is fake and it's bigger than what these shoes are man you guys are arguing over stuff over stuff that you have no control over no power over no knowledge of you know what i'm saying and and usually the people that the people that attack people that like for example i seen them uh, uh, attacking the real chicken wop chicken wop the one I was doing the video showing you guys the 12s and the 4s and they was attacking him saying his shoes was fake because he had them like a month earlier or maybe earlier than now I'm not sure and he like nah these ain't fake these ain't fake and it's and and, and the people that are attacking him 
are usually the resellers because the resellers need to get those shoes when they release. And if and if people are selling them early, you're fucking up their business. You know what I'm saying? You also, by having shoes early, you're fucking up the resale value of that shoe because it's it's a market. Everything everything is business. And if not the resellers are attacking those people that get early shoes, it's the people that work for the resellers, the troll accounts that it's it's crazy. It's a big business. Like I said, it's not the shoe game no more. It's the shoe business, man. This industry is full of business. Everybody's trying to make a penny off of it. You feel what I'm saying? Just read the article. Let me know how you feel about it. I will leave the link in the description. I'm telling you guys, all this debate and arguing about stuff you don't know. It's a big business, a multi-billion dollar company. And, and then you got the little guys below them arguing about other shit instead of seeing what the big picture is. You feel me? We're talking about billionaires. Is, is we talking about billionaires that are that are that are keeping billions and billions of dollars in their whole in their whole corporation is is there like they get almost every penny of the money that they earn by selling these shoes and we buy and we the buyers comment down below let me know how you feel about this like when I read this whole article it was just it blew my mind it made me think about a whole bunch of stuff that I've talked about in the past but uh this is Rob Dollar I'm getting out of here y'all peace.